You got it. You got it. Awesome. All right, we got coach here. Uh, Michelle, Chris Ho, Jonah, Cam, Fox 10. We'll start us off and then we'll take question, other questions after that. Coach, if you want to lead us off with uh, thoughts, we'll go from there. Well, I mean, obviously it's a, a fantastic feeling. Um, just everything we've been through, you, you reflect on the whole journey and to, uh, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs along the way and uh, just really excited for the kids. Uh, they wanted it badly. I think we put together the type of season that, uh, that was more than deserving for this opportunity. And uh, I was just a lot of joy and happiness in my house today. So it was just uh, great to see the guys uh, get to celebrate and all the work they put in. And, you know, we've had our backs against the wall now since probably the Bay Area. Like we all have almost been playing for our season since then. So it's, uh, it's good to be able to take a deep breath. And, uh, and now it's on to the next step in, uh, in preparing for Nevada which uh, Dez and Warren are going to be uh, involved in, in that scouting report. <laughs> Michelle, Chris Hode, go ahead. Congratulations, Bobby. You actually took the words right out of my mouth. I, I was going to ask about, obviously, that's kind of the compelling storyline here. And you've had a couple of players this year that have played against their other team. Frankie played against Michigan and uh, Warren again against Oregon State, although he was only there for a nanosecond. But uh, what about those players and the, the, the irony of this particular matchup? Yeah, I haven't had a chance. It was, it was uh, you said it, ironic um, that that played out the way it did uh haven't had a real opportunity to get their feelings on it uh it was chaos in my house and then kind of everybody dispersed and uh so it was uh I'll get their thoughts as we go but it's uh I don't know how much more motivation you need really you're in the NSA tournament so uh but yeah it is a, a subplot certainly of uh storyline here for the NSA tournament Chris, you're up. All right, going to hold. Uh, Bobby, congratulations. Um, I know you talked uh, previously about how disappointed you were in the last two years, uh, you know, and, and how things went for Arizona State. Um, do you feel that making the NCAA tournament uh, right now with all the work that you put in in the offseason with the transfer portal, building a brand, brand new roster almost uh, is really um, – a sense of gratification more than anything? Yeah, I think it, it, it felt like two years ago when I had the board in my living room and I was seeing what coaches I had and, and which uh, players were going to stay. And it was the first year of the portal. It's almost like you're starting from scratch. So it's it's been a long journey. Uh, we've been able to have some guys, like I'm happy for guys like DJ Horn and, you know, Lonzo Gaffney and Jemiah Neal, guys that have, been with me now for a couple of years in addition to the to the guys that have put us over the top you know from the transfer portal and our freshmen so um yeah I'm just I'm, I'm thrilled for for everybody involved uh certainly the guys and all the work we put in because we were at ground zero two years from now so it's been a two-year like journey and and it's uh it's just exciting that we have what the opportunities that are in front of us Uh, hey, Bobby, uh, Jonah Krell, Cronkite News. Um, obviously, uh, the Pac-12 tournament didn't end the way you won it against the Arizona. But when you look back at that quarterfinal win against USC, um, just how big was that win when you reflect back in terms of getting that ticket punched for the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I mean, it was – you could talk about a lot of games that, that fit that description. I mean, it's – I touched on it. It goes back to the Bay Area. Like we knew we had to win those two. It was must win games for our season and the guys stepped up and, and then we were just trying to win everything we could, you know, at Arizona and the USC game was definitely a significant game. Uh, I really personally didn't share this with the players, but I felt a ton of pressure that whole day, knowing that we had, you know, I had to deliver a good performance and we needed to win that game uh, in order to have a legitimate chance to, to play in the NCAA tournament. Cam, you're up. Hey, Bobby, you got me? Yeah, Cam, I got you. Congratulations. Uh, just how did it feel to jump in that pool? 
I was like going back and forth on uh, on what I was going to do because I, I just had a feeling in my heart, like and, and inside, even though we were on the bubble and the whole thing that we had done enough and that we would get rewarded for it. So I was on the debating whether I was going in again. I, it's come full circle. I did it the first time. So I figured I'd give it, a, give it another shot. Uh, I gave the guys the chance to decide though. I gave them the thumbs up or the thumbs down and they all majority gave me thumbs up. So we went for it. Thanks coach. Yeah. Fox 10. Who's ever on there. Do you have a question? And then after that, Kevin, I think you had a question. Nobody Fox 10. Kevin, go ahead. Hey, Bobby, congratulations. Um, I want to ask you about since that last tournament run in 2019, how have you seen yourself evolve as a coach between the last tournament run and going into this dance? Um, I mean, I think that I have a better feel for who I am, really. And, and uh, you know, what I value I think I've worked on on trying to be um, a little less volatile and, and just keeping my composure more and let my guys feed off a, a more compo composed version of myself. I mean, I, I still get after it and very passionate and, and will still from time to time stray with the officials, but uh, I, I've worked hard on that just to, to be more rock solid and I, I – you know, all year when we've been down, man, I've been telling these guys we're gonna win. We're gonna come. We're gonna find a way to win. We're gonna come back and 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 we believe in each other. So it's pretty special to have a group that, you know, that is uh, that believes in what we're doing. Thank you. Yeah. Who else got one? Go ahead, shout it out. Yeah. Hi, Bobby. I'll I'll take another one. Okay. Um, that win against USC. I mean, some will say that that was probably. Um, the final piece that ASU needed uh, um, to make the tournament. Uh, do you do you believe that that first half you played against the Pros was probably the best first half you played against any Pac-12 team uh, this year? And did that game uh, really showed you that um, you, you were deserving not only from a personal perspective but also from an, a national perspective, beating a team that's already in the tournament? I think in that game we were probably the best version of ourselves. We we uh, we guarded, we held them at twenty five percent. We, we turned them over and, and then we, we had shot making. So we played at both ends of the floor, uh, you know, again, in, in kind of a must win game we delivered. And uh, it was the last game virtually of that day. It was, it was on ESPN. It was uh, the only thing that, that people could watch, you know, we're, we're, we were in position to be considered as an NCAA tournament team. So, you know, that game was on in that committee room as they're trying to decide who looks like a, a tournament team. So when you play that well against a good team like that, in addition to your numbers and your quality wins and your quad one wins, you then pass the eye test too. And I think that was the case in that game. Anybody hey else? Coach. Yeah. Ahead. Hey coach, uh, Mike Stephenson here. I'm from Nevada sports net actually out here in Reno, just uh, curious at this point, how much you know about the Wolfpack and, uh, and I guess just Steve Alford led teams in general. Yeah, I have a ton of respect for Steve. He and I got along very well when he was coaching in our league. I enjoyed the opportunity to get to know Steve and, uh, you know, spend time around him and, uh, you know, media days and head coach meetings and uh, just a really great guy. I think he's done an outstanding job, obviously, or he wouldn't be, you know, in this tournament and uh, particularly for what he lost. I mean, look at what, what Coach Alford lost last year. I mean, the point guard, uh, transferred to uh, Oklahoma, the heck of a player. And then my two guys here, you know, Warren and Dez. So for him to have lost that much production to, to, to be in the NCAA tournament states volumes about how good of a coach he is. All right. Anybody else? Uh, just a quick follow-up, if you don't mind, uh, just a little bit on Des and Warren and what they've brought to the table for you guys. I know a lot of fans here were uh, bummed to see them go, and now we get a, certainly an intriguing matchup in Dayton. Yeah, they're both uh, great kids, uh, hard workers. Um, you know, both uh, bring different dimensions to our team. Des was was must needed scoring. You know, we struggled to score last year. That's probably what held us back the most last season. And he's he provides instant offense and uh, never afraid of the moment taking big shots, making big shots. Uh, and then he gives you everything he's got on defense too. He's a heck of a, you know, a perimeter defender. And, and then Warren's just been our anchor around the basket. His, uh, 
just his ability to, to challenge shots, block shots, rebound the ball, um, you know, and, but, but beyond that, they're both great kids and they've, they've certainly advanced our program having them here. You sort of joked about it, but how significant do you think they really can be as far as game planning? I mean, I was kind of making, making a joke there. Uh, I mean, we'll talk to them certainly, but we're, we're, you know, we're already in the process of gathering film and our, our assistant coaches have already hit the ground running with that. And I'm going to do the same here when I'm done with my media responsibilities. Fair enough. Thanks. And uh, congrats again, coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. All right, guys, let's go dancing. Thanks guys. <laughs> See you coach. Thank you. Thanks coach.